Hey guys, I'm back at it again with another video covering a very hot topic in the Tesla community, and that is the Autopilot 2.0 versus the Autopilot 1.0 functionality. Uh, and I say it that way because uh, Autopilot 1.0, of course, came out first. So Autopilot 2.0 is looking to catch up to it and hopefully surpass it sooner rather than later. Uh, right now, uh, as of this video, Autopilot 2.0 is very much behind the curb. Uh, in terms of catching up, I'm supposed to be caught up and surpassing several months ago, uh, but that's not the case. So I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of Autopilot 2 and Autopilot 1, showing the pros and cons of each or where, what areas one is more superior than the other or where they're even, uh, and, and really give you a good perspective, a good sense of what to expect when looking for a car with either one of those, Autopilot 1 or Autopilot 2. So really helping out those who are looking to buy new, who are looking to buy new inventory, who are looking to buy uh, CPO. So hopefully this is beneficial to you. And if it is, feel free to use the referral code below uh, in making your purchase. We're using the version numbers as they are on the screen right now uh, as of this video. And we're also testing in daytime. I also have a nighttime video coming, uh, but that's coming soon. Let's start with the basics. Autopilot 1 has a single front-facing camera, ultrasonic sensors, as well as long-range radar. But ultimately, it has the single facing camera in the front, uh, which is a mobile eye uh, hardware, as well as chipset to control that, and Tesla software on top of that. Autopilot 2 has the eight cameras, uh, the trifocal camera in the front, as well as four additional cameras around the side and one on the back, new and updated ultrasonic sensors, as well as radars. It's controlled with that one focal cam a trifocal camera in the front. That's Tesla's own Tesla Vision camera, running Tesla software, uh, and their own proprietary chipset. So first up, let's talk about lane detection. Let's talk about the car's ability to see the lanes in the road. As you see, I have Autopilot 2.0 on the left, Autopilot 1.0 on the right, and you see that they both do a very good job of recognizing the lanes. They both can see two up to three lanes. Uh, and if it's it's in the center lane, it's going to show the left and right lanes. If it's in the far right or far left, it's only going to show the next lane to it, respectively. Uh, but they both can do that very well, very easy, no problem. Next up, we have lane keeping, how well the car can stay centered in the lane. Both of the cars stay centered in the lane very well. Uh, they try their best to stay as centered as possible, but I find that Autopilot 2.0 biases to the left. Uh, I see it moving to the left a lot or feel it moving left to the lot. Uh, 1.0 stays centered as much as it can, sometimes drifts to the right, uh, but they both suffer from the what, what's known in the Tesla community as truck less is when it's near a truck, they both drift to the right towards that truck. But for the most part, they stay very centered in the lane, uh, again, with Autopilot 2 having a slight bias to the left. But I think they're pretty much even in that regard. Let's talk about lane changing, the ability to make auto lane changes while on autopilot. Both of these cars, again, do this very well. Uh, I'll give a slight edge to 2.0 here because I feel like the the 2.0 does a better job of getting into the lane and then staying centered where I see 1.0 takes its time getting into the lane uh, and depending on the speed that you're going uh, may take a little bit longer to center itself once it's in the lane. So a little bit of an edge to 2.0 there. Next is vehicle detection, being able to recognize vehicles on the road or see vehicles on the road. This is where Autopilot 1 really shines. Uh, they're able to see multiple vehicles, up to six vehicles at a time using the mobile eye camera. Uh, the Autopilot 2.0 can probably see everything on there, but they're only displaying right now a single car in front of you. Uh, you may see the car in front of that uh, if it's if you're going around a bend and if the camera can physically see it in front of the other one. Autopilot 1 sees again six cars at a time it's the most i've ever seen in, the, in in traffic that's the most i've ever seen it capture but it can easily display six cars at a time in every lane that it can display so all three lanes that it shows it can show cars in all those lanes to the left to the right in front further away and again this is really where uh the mobile eye hardware as well as the chipset and underlying software tied in with Tesla software uh, really shines. It, it's really the competitive advantage, I think, right now for Autopilot 1 is being able to see those cars in multiple lanes or showing it or acknowledging that the camera and the car effectively can see those cars. So it'll show those cars when it's within view uh, or within the view of the, um, the camera. The only problem, I think, with the Autopilot 1.0 camera 
is that it's limited in its field of view where the, the trifocal camera gives the 2.0 a wider range. So when they are able to recognize or show and display those cars, you should be able to see them closer to your car, whereas there's a certain level of or a certain degree of view that the car needs to be in within the camera's range before it shows it, even though you see it as a person, you know, as soon as it passes by, you know, it'll, it'll take a while before it gets into that field of view for 1.0. But I think 2.0 has the hardware to, to definitely keep up and catch up with that. Next, let's talk about vehicle recognition, the ability to recognize and identify vehicles. Right now, uh, Autopilot 1, again, has the advantage here. It's able to recognize trucks, cars, and motorcycles. Autopilot 2.0 only recognizes cars or recognizes uh, vehicles as cars, I should say. Uh, it'll recognize that there's a vehicle there, but it will recognize it as a car and not as a truck or a motorcycle. But Autopilot 1 recognizes the trucks, cars, and motorcycles uh, from long distances. As you can see, a motorcycle passes by in the left lane. You'll see that motorcycle appear. Um, and then for the, for the Autopilot 2.0, uh, as it passes a motorcycle, it doesn't, again, doesn't see in any of the adjacent lanes. It'll only uh, see what's in front of it. And even when it's in front of it, it won't recognize it as a motorcycle. Uh, but I brought this moment up right here just to show you a quick example of what it looks like in slow motion to show you one, a truck being seen in front of a car right here in the, in the right lane. And then also two motorcycles are going to pass by. And you'll be able to see both of those motorcycles as they, be, they come into the field of view of the camera. No problem for autopilot 1.0. Uh, so he, uh, big advantage here in this category. Lastly, I want to talk about blind spot warnings or blind spot detection. Both of uh, Autopilot 1 and Autopilot 2 do a good job of recognizing a vehicle when it's in your blind spot. Uh, I, pr I personally would like it to recognize it a lot sooner, but it'll get it right when the front of a car to the left or right comes up to about your back door. It'll start to recognize it. But what's surprising here is that I thought that the sensors on the 2.0 hardware suite uh, were longer reaching. So I would expect to see a bigger uh, sort of band here to see the car sooner rather than later, but it seems like they're about the same right now. I know in low speeds in, in certain traffic conditions, at low speeds, I will see the bigger band start to show to detect an object. Uh, and then you would also expect because 2.0 has cameras on the B pillars uh, that it, it should be able to show the vehicle in a, in, a, in a position where Autopilot 1.0 doesn't have cameras on the left and right, so it can't even show you a vehicle, even if it detects it. It can't even identify and say, hey, this is a car or a truck or a bus or a motorcycle, et cetera. It, it doesn't even know what it is until it comes into the view of the camera. So here's where I would expect 2.0 to have the advantage, but so far uh, it doesn't seem to be showing much of an advantage. So that's all I've got for today. Again, I have another day, a nighttime video, which has a which has a better positioning in the Model X to get a more consistent and steady position. Uh, apologies for the uh, the differing angles on this one, but it was a little bit tough during the day. And again, with the way that the windshield is for the Model X, is a little bit difficult to to have the rig uh, get the same position and perspective of the Model S. But the nighttime one should be better. So check out for that one soon.